damned leaky boat. My boots are soaked. Yet another boggy shithole. Who are you? I'm not gonna hurt you. Will you let me look at your wounds? Odd. You don't resemble a traveling preacher. Oh, damn the dogs, it hurts to talk. I wager my arm is the only thing keeping me in one piece. I'll find some help. Futile, I'm afraid. Around here, folk don't open their doors to strangers. You would do well to find my squire. I'd like to thrash his hide for fleeing from those corpse-eaters. Consider it my final wish. I found his body by the river. Listen, let me brew you a health potion. You're no witcher, so it could kill you. But if I'm not mistaken, you already think you're dead. There's a slim chance that your body will quell the toxins and regenerate. I'll expire in this hole before I let someone turn me into a mutant. That's not how it works. Stay calm and lie still. I need to find some herbs.
Knock back this potion. Try not to vomit. Drink it. You're still alive, so that bodes well. But you've got a ways to go before you're at full health. Now you have to sit and wait. You're no mutant, so it'll be a couple of days before you recover and we can get you out of here. Thank you, Witcher. Uh, hallowed Grieve! Didn't have the chance earlier. I'm Geralt of Rivia. Bolton of Ironfoot. I wanted to try my luck in the arena, but some corpse-eaters surprised me. My horse reared and I came crashing down in full armor. They pounced upon me with their claws. Though broken, I managed to drive them off and crawl here. Pitiful story, but there it is. Hmm. That could mean some paid work for me. Doubtful. If the corpses weren't eaten, they would rot, emit a stench, and breed pestilence. Ah! Oh, damn the dogs! Those who fall in the arena, their bodies are cast into the ravine. The dead offer little in terms of diversion, I'm afraid. Except perhaps to monsters. Get well, Bolton of Ironford. And farewell. You must take my invitation. If but half of what I've heard about witches is true, you ought to manage well in the arena. Thanks, Bolton. I thank you. And now, Geralt of Rivia, if you've no objection, I would finally like to get some sleep. Who stalks the night? Be gone, cursed soul, or I'll stick the hounds on ya! Got corpse eaters on this side, so I'll take your hounds any day. A jester, eh? You're all jesters. You all think you're droll till you enter the arena. No room for joking around in there! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm soaked and I'm freezing. Let me in. Ah! A vampire! I'll not let a bloodsucker in. Oh no! I've got eels in garlic here! What do you say to that? I'll gladly submit to the eels and garlic trial, and the running water trial, and the beer trial. Who knows what you are? Evil crawls the night, corrupting the righteous. I'll wait for morn for the cock to crow. If the rising sun don't scare you off, I'll let you in. You want me to wait here? You there! All right. Let's find a place to rest. Still there, foul soul! Yeah, I'm still here. And the cock has crowed. As far as being foul, well, I may smell a bit. Has it got an invitation? It has. Then it may enter. Good luck to it in the arena!
Careful! He angrily defeated the King's guards!
Twenty orange to granddad. <laughs> Looky there, he's awake. You daft! Don't go in there! Shut it, he's in chains, can't do a thing. Am I right, Master Geralt? <laughs> roll again! Why? The dice didn't roll! Calling me a cheat? Take it back. Look, he's awake again. Monster slayer, my ass. A regular horson. I heard witches all start out as roadside orphans taken in by mages. Mages who experiment on him. 
<laughs> Folks say they plow witches come the equinox. That's how they get those spooky eyes. Enough! Take him down and put him in the interrogation room. I thought you died. I'm not so easy to kill. I don't believe we've been introduced. Vernon Roach. Walk around behind me if you want to shake. Well, how foolish of me. Vess! Unshackle him. Us. No, thanks. Bring something to drink. We can't sit here cotton mouthed. You will tell me everything you remember. The entire assault. And all that happened in the Solo. And if I refuse? I shall have to beat you. I've commanded the special forces for a while. Got good at beating others. You're a witcher. You'd endure much. You better believe it. Worst case scenario, you'll suffer through it, go back to your cell, and tomorrow, they'll publicly gut you, skin you, and hang you. Just like that? For nothing? No. For Temeria. Downright praiseworthy. Where should I start? It was a long day. I wish to hear the important bits. Just so we're clear on this, I was not eager to go into battle. But Foltest is not someone you refuse. Witcher, are you up? <sighs> His Majesty, King of Tiberia, Pontar, Mahakam, and Sodden, Senior Protector of Bruges, summons Master Geralt to appear before him. Tell him I'll be there shortly. Sorry to intrude like this, my lady, but the King. We heard you. A pleasant day to you, my lady. Witcher. Such a beautiful morning. A war can never be stupid when waged by your king. They've cleared the forests, they're pillaging nearby villages, and they'll soon be murdering each other en masse. Why? Because Foltest's having a spat with the mother of his bastard twins. This is a really stupid war, Triss. Bastards or not, the children are still royal blood. The Lavalettes are an old Temerian dynasty, and the mix is sufficient basis to vie for the crown. History has known stranger contenders. Which doesn't change the fact that... I know. Baltest and the other northern monarchs are neither the smartest nor the most refined. But they're kings, one of whom we serve. 
and I'll see Foltest is summoned, protect him if need be. But once the castle falls, we leave. Did you dream of the Wild Hunt again? Some clue to grab onto. Something that'll help me recover my memory. Dreams can be very powerful. Some people claim they can even shape reality. People claim a lot of things. The problem is, it's often nonsense. We'll know in time. I'm sure of it. One of the scouts swears he saw a dragon down by the river. Claims he ran into a Scoyatel unit. That would have been it if the dragon hadn't swooped down. The elves apparently bowed in prayer and he escaped. A dragon? In the midst of civilization? Oh, please. Besides, does it matter? Witchers don't hunt dragons. Or has something changed? Nothing's changed. And you're right. It's probably not a dragon. It could be a fork tail or a slizzard. Maybe even an overgrown wyvern. The scout ran into some elves and scurried away. That's how that story begins and ends. Unlucky assassin? How did the autopsy go? It was a nightmare. In the months since you killed him, the King's medics poked around in his corpse like a bunch of amateurs. What arrived in that cart? Well, I wouldn't even call it a corpse. Foltest has some trust issues. Did you learn anything? His pupil suggested he could probably see in the dark as well as you. I couldn't put an age on him. The killer snuck past all the guards and nearly killed Foltest and me a month ago. And now you tell me he was a witcher? Possibly. I'm just saying what the autopsy showed. I haven't told anyone, nor do I plan to. I know what it could do to you if it got out. You might be a savior, a king's witcher now. But masters can be as fickle as the cults they are. Alright. Time to look to the lustful king and his stupid war. I'll join you later. I'll join you later. Attention, imbecile! Where are you from, monkey? Murky waters, sergeant! Murky waters up your arse! Barrels of it! Yes, sir, sergeant, sir! At ease! Now, listen up. We'll soon be here. Oh, looky then, you boy, it's that witcher. Get all the Rivia ought to know about amulets. Witcher, sir, I have a question for you. We know each other. Don't recognize your old mates. We're the Crinfrid Reavers. I lost my memory. As did Boholt. After the hunt for the Golden Dragon, he took a spill and hit his head on a rock. He can still be a beast in battle, but besides that, he don't do much save eating shit. Rarely even lusts after women. I doubt that's amnesia. I'm Kenneth. And this one here they call Desperate. And this is new boy. He's uh, apprenticing with us like. I haven't had much luck with the monsters of late, so we enlisted. Now new boy's gotten itself into this wager situation. Would you help us for old time's sake? I mean, we all got a little riled. But those are bygones, as I see it. We'd have set you free. The sorceress too. Boholt was just fooling about the raping and all. What rape? You trapped, Esbert. The Witcher don't remember. Waste of words to remind him. We're old mates, that's that. So you'd have raped this old mate? Just the sorceress. You were there to kill the dragon. The sorceress too. The peasants wanted at it, everyone did. But there was only one prize. 
and we argued. There was some commotion, a regular rumble in fact. We tied you up like hogs, meaning you and the sorceress, and went after the beast. But the dragon thrashed us so hard, we spent the next half year licking our wounds. And you done freed yourselves of your bonds. Who was the sorceress? raven Ed she was. Remember her name, Desperate? Uh, Conifer or some such. So, willing to help some old friends, Witcher? What kind of trouble are you in now? It's a matter of life, death, and quite a bit of coin in point of fact. New boy bet a night that he'd survive the assault in his shirt and knickers alone. We drunk a bit by then, I admit, but a wager's a wager. Our honor's at stake. A soldier's honor versus a knight's. I think I get it. The very core of the matter, Witcher. We're slated to go in the first wave, so the going's liable to be hard. New boy's brave, but he can't survive by courage alone. In any case, we've come into this bauble that's supposed to protect him, magically like. You mind casting an expert's glance at it, seeing as sorcery and such is not strange to you. Let me see this bauble. Your wolf medallion, I saw it shake. It reacts to magic. So it's true, what the priest said. Hear that, new boy? You'll be safe. We'll fleece that night, we will. Where did you get this talisman? We came by it, let's say. We were on patrol, see, and ran into a couple of novice priestesses praying at this shrine. They were nice, smiling and all. We don't want to take them two on patrol. Ho ho ho! But shut it! Boalt had one of his rare moments of clairvoyance, went rummaging in the shrine and found the amulet. Who knows what goes on in that head of his? But every now and then, he wakes up as good old Boholt. Oh, the wonders we saw. First, ran into some squirrels, vicious ones. Arrows flying everywhere, but we came through untouched. Barely three of the others still standing when a dragon swooped down, the elves fell to their knees, and we all legged it. The amulet's magic for certain. Though it failed to protect the shrine from your patrolling. Aye, true. Well, now we don't know what to think. Who knows? Maybe the amulet is unlucky. Maybe it draws trouble. I doubt you left the shrine untouched. Then the square tell, the dragon. I told you as much. We need to get the boy some plate. Wait a minute. We owe the witcher some thanks. But we're broke as shit peddlers. Fancy the amulet, Witcher. It might draw trouble, be cursed in some way. But you might lift the curse. Sell it off. I'll take it. It's all yours. Witcher, you available for normal business still? Willing to hunt monsters? Yeah, I'm willing. Why do you ask? Well, cause we were out with those scouts that saw the dragon. No one believes us, but... The sound in the assembly. That's us find you after the battle, Witcher. Wait. Farewell. Curses, I'm still sober. Big full test to victory! No passage. Have no mercy. Don't see full test. A beautiful day for battle. Fear not, Excellency, we're out of range of their arbalists. I am no warrior, sir. I must admit, I prefer to joust verbally or with a... Finally! Traitors of the realm boil tar on the walls while you dally with the royal advisor. How may I assist you, sire? We mount an assault today, and you'll be at my side. Follow me, gentlemen. Let's not keep the traitors waiting. Sire, you said we were out of range. That was a ballista, Excellency. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. A deadly and very costly weapon. An experienced crew can cock and release two bolts each minute. 
Yet it has one flaw. Your Grace, please take cover. The recoil of the arms is so strong upon firing that the weapon shifts. It simply cannot hit the same spot twice. I had no idea Your Grace was a learned military engineer. I'm not. I gave the Baroness those ballistae two years ago for her birthday. Sire. What say you, Excellency, of men who live in spite of such wounds? And what say you, Your Grace, of soldiers who inflict them? Those who did this live no more. Master Geralt, I wish to converse with you once the storm of battle has subsided. Forgive me, Excellency, but I plan to leave the Royal Court as soon as possible. Might I know why? Too often they take me for someone I'm not. What do they call you, soldier? Wait. You served with me at Brenneran during our foray into the Pontar Valley. Norman Sailor. Still an arbalist? Yes, sir. Fight has not been kind to me. Ha! Norman Sador, for your years of faithful service to the Crown, I appoint you Decurion of the Arbalists. Onwards, gentlemen. No reason to dawdle. Thank you.